can complain about the election. By the way, she is the single most unhappy person in the United States because she said, why didn't you do that for me? Why didn't you create votes for me? Because she said, I was much closer. Yeah. Okay, so that was not a clip from the 2016 campaign. In fact, that happened last night. Donald Trump making a return to the rally stage in Ohio. The former president sticking with his greatest hits, doubling down on election lies and airing personal grievances. NBC's Ali Vitale is in Cleveland, Ohio. Ali was at that rally, and she's here to talk about it. I've got to ask, was it like deja vu, Ali? I mean, what else did you hear but kind of a compilation of the Trump greatest hits? Yeah, that's exactly what it was, was a series of deja vu, because as much as this is a new inflection point for the former president, advisors say that this is the beginning of a much more public posture for him over the course of the summer. He wants to take a bigger role in the upcoming midterm election. So we're going to see more rallies like this one, more appearances at conservative events. At the same time, though, there wasn't much that was actually substantively new in this speech. At one point, he even asked the crowd if he should go into some of these old grievances and if he should go into, again, relitigating the big lie of the 2020 election, the crowd said that that's what they wanted to hear from him. And that's exactly what happened in my conversations with voters, too. I asked if it was time for a more future-facing message, a bigger vision for the party going forward. And they said no. They wanted to hear the greatest hits from the former president. That's exactly what they got. But at the same time, there was a little bit of reaction to what's been in the news cycle lately. He did talk about Vice President Kamala Harris's trip to the border. That's ahead of a trip that he's going to be making himself over the course of the next few days. And he also spoke about General Mark Milley's tense exchange defending critical race theory this week on the Hill. Listen to what he said about that. Our generals and our admirals are now focused more on this nonsense than they are on our enemies. You see these generals lately on television? They, they are woke. And of course, he didn't name Milley there, but at the same time, it was pretty clear what he was talking about. And again, what Milley said when he was on the Hill sparring with a Republican congressman was effectively just defending the idea of studying critical race theory, which is the thought process and the thinking around institutional racism in the United States. He likened it to the same way that we study Marxism and other things, but he himself is not a communist. And so Trump clearly picking up on that. At the same time, though, Alex, this rally comes against the back drop of legal troubles on the business front for the former president. We know from sources telling us that next week we're likely to see charges from the Manhattan DA, the first criminal charges he'll be bringing, and those could be against the Trump organization as well as its CFO, Alan Weisselberg. Alex? So interesting. But for that last part you were talking about, it all just seems so passe. I mean, if that's the way he wants to go, then okay. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much, Ali Vitale.